Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Noelle and I review and unbox subscription boxes here on my channel. And today I have a great little lifestyle box that has once again been sent to me for review. It is of course Fruit for Thought, which I have been opening here on the channel probably for a little over three years now. Now the idea behind this box is that every month is themed around a fruit or food or combination of a couple of them. And then everything in that box is going to be in that flavor, scent, or color palette. Now, I after six years of doing this box, she has kind of had to expand the themes a little bit more. And so she did a survey with subscribers to get some great ideas. So we're seeing some broader themes, like last month, uh, January's box was Around the World. So we got items from Around the World, of course. And then this February box, which I might be posting actually at the beginning of March, just because I have so many fun boxes to share with you guys all the time. This is actually Je T'aime Paris. So we have a little French theme going on, but of course, it's not necessarily focused on a one sort of food. In addition to these monthly boxes, she also does some limited edition boxes. And I don't know if you guys have seen, but she did a charcuterie themed limited edition for spring in two different sizes. One is kind of the size of the subscription box, and then the other is more of the deluxe. It's about twice the price, but you get more than twice the number of items inside. So that does sound like one that will be really fun. So if you, she hasn't sold out yet, make sure you get in on that. That. And just as a reminder, even if you are a subscriber or you've been subscribed in the past, she has moved platforms. So the website address is the same, but it's on a different website platform. So for those of you who had your payments and everything stored, that's something she wasn't able to pull over from that old platform. So you might need to resubscribe. She's been sending out emails with discounts and instructions on how to do that. But if for some reason they have escaped your inbox, make sure that if you want to be subscribed or get in on any of the limited edition boxes, you do want to update everything and start your account on the new platform. Now, back to the details of this box, just a little, you know, FYI, a little uh, public service announcement there about the box. It is $41.99 per month. Obviously, if you do a multi-month subscription, there is a little bit of a discount, plus shipping. The shipping, I believe, right now is $7.99. And of course, I do have a discount code for you. It is, as it has always been, Noel 10 and that will save you 10%. So let us open it up. Inside we have the Fruit for Thought tissue paper. So this comes in two different colorways. Uh, and I will go ahead and open it up so we can get into our Je T'aime Paris uh, box. All right, so this is a little sneak peek for you. I removed the card. I know you can't really tell anything in there. That's why we watch the unboxing video, right? And of course, this is one of the boxes that I do try to get around to taking photos of over on my Instagram account. So if you're not following me over there yet, please do. It's at Maui underscore Noel, and it's a great opportunity for me to get to highlight some of the boxes that I open here on the channel as well as the individual products. I know sometimes you can't necessarily see how it's going to be used or kind of get all the details in these videos, so I do like to do some nice close-ups when possible or kind of arrange things so you can kind of see things in use when possible. So this is our little card and it does give us a little spoiler, a little reminder for the next month's theme or I guess this month's theme which is March which is a pie shop. So all kinds of pies. Let me know in the comments below just a little, we'll get ahead of ourselves here what is your favorite kind of pie so I actually like any berry pie I love me some apple pie but I love berry pies too all right you guys so on the back it's got the information about all of the items that are inside and she's really great about including their Instagram handles so if you want to find their products find more about the businesses you can usually do that through those Instagram accounts so I'm just gonna prop it up in front of me one of the other really fun things about this box is there's always some edible treats inside. It might not be literal, right? If it's a banana box, we're not going to get bananas, but we will get some banana flavored things, right? So let's see. I don't know what Paris tastes like, but it tastes fancy, right? It tastes like mackerel and champagne. <laughs> All right. So let's go ahead and start with the largest item that's kind of peeking out of the shred. And I'm going to dust it off a little bit. Oh, so this is from a company that she's been using lately. And um, they do really nice um, kind of bath and body products so far. It's called 
Deep Steep Premium Beauty, and it's a limoncello hand wash. Well, I usually think of that as being a little bit more Italian, but sounds nice to me. Uh, and also very springy, and I love a lemon scent when it comes to a uh, hand wash. So this is pretty enough to just put by your sink, so or maybe in the guest bath, or even in the kitchen, of course, where it's really easy to have a nice pump bottle like this. So let me see. It says, Deep Steep's Rich Lathering Argan Hand Wash provides gentle cleansing while moisturizing with oils of argan and olive and offers a rich indulgent lather that never dries out your skin scented in limoncello a delightful refreshingly lemony fragrance with the most subtle citrus notes bright crisp with a hint of sensual Ooh, i don't usually think of limoncello as sensual but i guess it is like an after after dinner aperitif so all right but again i usually think of limoncello as more italian but i'll take it i'll take it for paris sure all right let's see what else we've got I'm also see well this definitely is on on theme. It is from the Candy Club and I love Candy Club stuff. It is Je t'aime Paris milk and white chocolate cherries. Oh, like cherry. <laughs> uh, cerise. So here we go. Nice little jar of this. Actually a pretty big jar of that. I love me some chocolate covered cherries. That's and then you know, again, it's called Je t'aime Paris, so I think that might have been what led to the uh, theme for the box, in fact. So let's see what it says. Delicious dried cherries, first coated in creamy milk chocolate, and then layered with light white chocolate. These rich red chocolate cherries by Love Candy Club will leave you ready to travel to the most romantic city and scream, I love you, Paris, from the Je t'aime Paris collection. So this is interesting. Oh, I see. So I was like, it doesn't look like it's coated in white chocolate, but it's like red white chocolate. So they have uh, dyed it. So it's got that nice rich red color to it. All right. Here's something very Frenchy, uh, très française. Uh, we have, I don't know if this is soap, but it is definitely La Tour Eiffel, the Eiffel Tower. So it is indeed some soap. It says not edible because it kind of looks like it should be some confection. So this is from the, does that say Plunk Soap? Let me see if I can find it here on there. It's yes, Plunk Soap. Plunk soap, okay. So it says, moisturize and pamper your skin with this handmade artisan 3D Eiffel Tower soap by Plunk Soap Company. Almost too pretty to use, but would look great in a soap dish. Scented in strawberry and infused with pure coconut oil. Eco-friendly, high quality ingredients. So it's almost like a cookie cutter. It almost looks like something that you made from a 3D printer, but it is, of course, soap. Kind of interesting to me that we wound up with like two soap things, but I guess this is one for more display and this is one for more, more use, but definitely goes on theme on theme of course let's see what else we have we have something that's got french on it it is les anis de flavigny the french mint and it is in black currant and it's got two lovers uh uh, that are on a merry-go-round it looks like on a carousel so let's see what this is still made within the walls of the ancient abbey each delicate anise de flavigny uh flavigny yeah uh candy conceals an anise seed in its heart and uh, wow, I didn't think of anise seed. I don't think candy when I think anise seeds. Anise seeds are carefully sourced to produce a warm, spicy flavor and a remarkably aromatic scent. Over the course of 15 days, the seeds are tumbled over one another and gradually become covered in fine, successive layers of eco-certified organic unrefined sugar. This patient, delicate work transforms each seed into the smooth, white candy we all love, and these ones are flavored in black currant. Interesting. Okay, so I... I'm not familiar with these. I was gonna see if I could open it up, but it's got like a little, like a sealing tape going around it. I'll definitely open them up for when I take photos, but I'm just curious to see what they look like if they're like just little hard candies. But again, let me know in the comments below if you have tried these before. I like to think of myself as a bit of a Francophile, but I am not familiar with these at all. So I don't know how like common it is this this is nice though because it does have the little made in france sticker on it so we know it's like legit definitely goes with the theme and i'm seeing where i'm supposed to start opening up Whew. <laughs> and then i quickly stuck it back down on there <laughs> so let me go ahead and open it up i'm very curious to see what it looks like i'm sure you guys are too so let's see i'm now i'm nervous that i'm gonna open it up and they're gonna go exploding across the room which is another you know, one of those things that can happen in a in an unboxing. Okay, 
this is not what I was expecting. I was expecting like the little like powdered ones that look almost like lemon drops. These almost look like little bonbons. So you can see they do have that like light dusting, which I guess is probably to keep them from like sticking together. Very curious. I'll have to let you know what I think, but I'm not going to try one now just because it <laughs> might take me a while to get down to that aniseed. All right. I like that. So far, that's probably my favorite thing just because it's a little bit new. It actually is in, from France. Um, and I like the little backstory. All right. So we got a little uh, Eiffel Tower keychain. I think it is, it feels like plastic, but like pr pretty good sturdy plastic, which is nice. So it's not going to like thonk you when you're like pulling out your keys or whatever you have, but it's uh, got lots of detail on it. I don't know if you guys can see all the little hash marks. It actually even says Paris there. So a little bit of a souvenir item kind of reminds me of our around the world box here. I never know what to do with keychains, but this little gold one would definitely make a cute bag charm if you had a little, you know, you're probably not going to put this on your uh, Louis Vuitton bag, but if you have a little Frenchy bag or you're going to a little like French themed tea or event, this would be a really cute little bag charm to have. So let's see, it says gold or silver. Of course, you guys know I'm glad I got the gold because I love my gold accents. Uh, adorable 3D Eiffel Tower keychain, the perfect Paris souvenir. And it will definitely sit up on its own too, which is kind of cute. All right, let's see, we still got more. We have a cute little bookmark from Emily Cromwell Designs. Like, I have so many bookmarks, so you guys, I don't know what to do with all of them. But it's just a cute little, like, laminated bookmark. So um, it's got a little dog on a Vespa with a bunch of books behind it. So lots of, <laughs> lots of details in there, too. So let's see. Paris Dog with Books was illustrated by Emily Cromwell Designs. The design is then professionally printed and made into a cute laminated bookmark. Like, okay, we got a bookmark. Like, to me, that's not the most exciting item in here, but it's cute. It's just like a little bonus. So I'm going to, that's what I'm going to call it, a little bonus. Oh, these are cute. So this is, um, I do love these. I just never know what to do with them. We got some 3D stickers from Paper House. There's definitely uh, 10 of them, but they are super duper cute. So you can see they have some height to them because they put these like foam core stickers on them so they're gonna like puff up off the page so if you are an old school scrapbooker where you actually put the pieces of paper once you've done all of your cricketing and uh, pasted everything on there um, so you can have some depth to your scrapbook pages these are really fun they really like literally pop off the page and then of course you slide those pages into the sleeves that would be really really cute we have Paris City of Lights J'adore oh la la et bon appétit and uh, Avenue de Champs-Elysées um, so in the 8th arrondissement. Uh, so here's what that looks like again. They're very, very cute. Let's see what it says about these. Paris 3D stickers by Paper House Productions are a great way to embellish your craft projects. Okay, craft projects or gifts. It could be really cute on some gifts as well. It says their dimensional stickers are best sellers that take your scrapbooking, card making, and more to a whole new level featuring fantastic embellishments such as glitter, foil, rhinestones, epoxy, glossy accents, and more. So yeah, there is definitely Definitely some glitter, especially around the edges of the signs. Let me see if I can take these out. Sometimes, uh, sometimes it's a little bit easier to see, obviously, than when it's uh, uh, inside of the bag still. And I, I'm apparently in the mood to open things up for you today, so I guess that's kind of my job as an unboxing channel. So here you go. Now you can probably see the, the little lovely items a little bit more. We have that fleur de lis. We have a nice bottle of a wine. Let's see, is that, oh, it's the Louvre down there with the pyramid that we all recognize. So especially, maybe if you were having like a Emily in Paris watch party, this would be really cute for your invitations because I'm all in the mood to like do paper invitations and host some parties. I wish I had a bigger house to do it, but maybe I'll just uh, invite people for happy hour over at my favorite French restaurant a couple blocks over. But I could still send invitations. So this would be really cute. All right, let's see what else have we got. That might be it, but honestly, that was a ton of stuff. Let me just double check and then we'll go over the list just to make sure that I hit everything. So we got two soaps in this box. We got a nice hefty limoncello from uh, Deep Steep. And then we got a cute decorative 3D Eiffel Tower from 
Plunk Soap Company. So that was two of our items. We got our 3D Paris stickers for a little stationary item. And then we also got a cute little bookmark. So that was four items together. Then we got our uh, Eiffel Tower. Let me know if you got silver or gold. Cute little bag charm or functional keychain, of course. That's five items. We got our ooh, delicious dried cherries. Now that's probably going to be one of my favorite items just because I love anything chocolate. You guys know me. That feels very French to me. Um, some little bonbon. Uh, even though we didn't get macaron, I'll have to get some macaron to take these pictures. And then finally, another our other edible item. So we got a total of seven items this time around. Is these Les Anis de Flavigny little... I guess they're not really mints, but they're little candies. Les Veritables Anis de l'Abbaye de Flavigny. I don't know where Flavigny is. Do any of you know where that is, where it is? I don't think it's in Paris. It is in sur Oseran, France. So I'm not sure where that abbey is, but that sounds interesting. I'm very curious about this. Very, very curious about these ones. You guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please do help me out with a thumbs up. Let me know if you have visited the City of Love, the City of Lights, Paris, and what you think like the most iconic Parisian thing is besides, besides like the monuments like Lac de Triomphe and La Tour Eiffel and um, what do you think is like the most iconic French thing that you would expect to see in a Paris box. I hope you all enjoy this and I'll see you soon in my next one.